Tonight, an exciting day for video game fans and for Microsoft. Halo 3 appears to be giving Microsoft a boost in its game console rivalry with Sony and Nintendo. Thousands lined up to get the final installment of the trilogy when it went on sale at midnight. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates fueled the frenzy at one store's launch. Love you! Bill Gates! We love you! Gates walked in just before midnight to sell the very first copy of Halo 3. Microsoft expects record-breaking sales. The first two Halo games made Microsoft a big player in a market once dominated by Sony's PlayStation 3. Now Microsoft and Nintendo are neck and neck for industry dominance. NECN business reporter Mont Fennel looks at the battle for the fast-fingered fans. Halo 3 has gamers hooked. Just the graphics, they go really in-depth. It takes three years for the third one to come out. There's got to be something about it. It's the third part of a trilogy resuming the saga of a masked human soldier battling alien armies for the world's survival. It is confidently the best game we've ever made as a studio. 10,000 stores stayed open till midnight to sell Microsoft's new game, 54% more stores than for Halo 2. Dolores Lowney plunked down $60 for her grandsons. It's like a pecking order. They have to be the first one, yeah, to get it. Many analysts are predicting the game could surpass the $170 million in first-day sales of the final Harry Potter book and the first week in revenue from the movie Spider-Man 3. In its first day of 2004, Halo 2 grossed $125 million. Well, Halo 3 is going to be the biggest entertainment launch in history. Microsoft has come a long way since 2001 when, as a newcomer to the video game console business, it debuted the Xbox 360. Microsoft's Xbox division now accounts for 12% of the company's $51 billion in sales. The first two Halo games sold 15 million copies. The Halo series is what made the original Xbox, and I think that's what's really going to make this system is going to be Halo 3. Computer World's Ken Gagne says competitor Sony PlayStation 3 has been hurt by its $600 price tag and a lack of appealing games. But he says in the past year, Nintendo's <laughs> Wii, with its movable wand that simulates game play, has outsold the Xbox. And they went after senior citizens. They went after female gamers. They went after people who are not traditionally gamers. Microsoft's making the most of the hype with a special edition Halo 3 console, wireless headset, and controller. Still, partly because the Xbox is so costly, to make, Microsoft's Xbox division has lost $7 billion. Eventually it will be profit-driven. It takes money to make money. They have 8.9 million Xbox 360s out there in just 10 months. That's phenomenal sales. More than double what Sony has done in the exact same time frame. Now some criticize Halo 3 for its violence, its content graphic enough that Best Buy won't allow it to be shown in its stores, showing other games instead. The violence gives people a false impression of what society is really like and what may motivate them in the future. Can you still get backlash because it's weapon use? Absolutely. But they changed the blood on it from you know shooting aliens so that it's pink blood. Now if only Halo can help push Xbox from the black to the red. In Framingham, Massachusetts, Mont Fenelon.